What's up, boys? Today, I'll be showing you guys every single Ronnie location in NBA 2K23. So, there's actually a bunch of locations, if you guys don't know, to go ahead and find Ronnie 2K. And I have every single location for you guys, and I'll be showing you guys today. Final thing before we hop into the first location, if you guys are new, leave a like on the video and subscribe. I'm helping you guys out, so help me out. Leave a like and subscribe. Turn on those post notifications too, because there's going to be tons of 2K content and tips coming to the channel. Let's go ahead and hop in here to the very first location. So, we're going to go ahead and hop over to the map here. And the very first location here is going to be over by the north side nice and he's actually i believe going to be right in this spot right here so we're gonna go ahead and set a waypoint right here so that way we know where we're going i should have chapters on the video by the way if you guys want to skip past every single location and by the way if you guys do not yet have the quest just kind of be patient play some my career games and eventually you guys should get the quest and by the way this is what the quest looks like in case some of you guys don't know so it's over in the side it's called rebirth right here you guys can go ahead and get your shirt off spawn location rebirth you guys get a shirt mvp points a bunch of different stuff so yeah man it's pretty simple to do so as you guys can see right over here he is down in the corner over here over by the castle so really really simple to find ronnie 2k right here so go ahead and just talk to him and you guys should be good and that is the very first location now let's go ahead and take a look at the second location but before we do as you guys can see all you guys have to do is reach 65 overall and you get the shirt bonus right there and once you guys do that you guys get the shirt now let's head over and find ronnie 2k in the city yet again for the second location so for this next one i recommend heading over to the map yet again and clicking the bumper a few times until you guys get over to the stores then you guys want to go down to the store that says finders keepers you want to head over to the one that says finders keepers so once you guys find finders keepers set a waypoint right there and you guys should be good to go i definitely recommend though using these stations because it's a lot faster to get around so just head over to this station right here and then fast travel over there and you guys should be pretty much really right there so now we're just following this waypoint right here and ronnie 2k should be right around here somewhere there he is so right here in front of finders keepers he is right to the right right here and boom you guys can find ronnie 2k and talk to him yet again I've, of course it's glitched as a 2k game so let's go ahead and skip ahead of this one right here and you guys should be pretty much set and that's the second location so right there we have locked the spawn location for that one so pretty awesome right there all we need now is to reach 75 overall and now of course again we have to look for ronnie 2k in the city yet again here so according to my youtube comments it turns out that the third location is between the wildcats and the night so let's go ahead and put our location in here or our waypoint and i'll go ahead and show you guys the actual location in just a second so we are looking for the 2k esports building so we're looking for a building right here that says 2k esports i'll let you guys know when we find it and here he is right in front of the 2k esports right here so this is the location on the map so yes it is it's right in between here the knights and the wildcats so I'll go ahead and make a waypoint on your guys's map right here you guys should be easily able to find ronnie 2k he's standing right in front of the building right here so really really easy to go ahead and do that now let's go ahead and see which rewards he's given us now and boom now we can go ahead and get our shirt off once we reach 88 overall so unfortunately i'm 85 overall so i cannot do this quite yet however i will be showing you guys the fourth and i believe final location so i cannot 100 percent confirm this because of course i'm not 88 overall yet so i don't have the quest quite yet but apparently the fourth location is literally right in front of the vipers so go ahead and put your waypoint right in front of the vipers for the very fourth location and sh which should be the final location and there's a station that takes you like literally right in front of the viper stadium so i definitely recommend going in and doing that so just kind of look around the vipers because again i i'm not 100 percent sure that this is the exact spot but this is what i have heard from youtube comments so they've been right about the, all the other ones but i just recommend looking maybe inside the vipers or outside the vipers i already he's outside the viper stadium so just go ahead and look around here and ronnie 2k should be somewhere around here but i do not have the quest yet so unfortunately i cannot show you guys me talking to ronnie this time but this should be the very final location and hopefully this video did help you guys out just a little bit if you guys are new man please leave a like on the video and subscribe seriously would appreciate it. tons of 2k 23 tips are coming to the channel super soon before you guys click off the video though i want to show you guys a couple of things that i definitely recommend doing right now and that's definitely going to be the welcome to the league do this welcome to the league quest if you guys are able to because this will give you guys plus four badge points that's absolutely huge if you're my career player so i highly recommend completing the welcome to the league which really to complete welcome to the league you have to complete handle your business and complete control the narrative all it really is is playing once you guys play like eight my career games you guys should be able to knock this out it's gonna take you guys probably an hour to do honestly and you guys will be able to get plus four badge points super super easy to do highly highly recommend doing the welcome to the league because that is absolutely huge to your my career i also recommend doing gym rat this is also a really really huge thing um, i def definitely recommend doing like the gym every single day and getting your workouts done so that way you guys get closer and closer to that gym rat badge that's definitely gonna help you guys out and also do the my point accelerator right here so this is actually huge as well so all you guys have to really do is just talk to your coach after the game 
and eventually he'll give you pretty much a quest to go ahead and do or just in order to get these uh my point accelerators so that's pretty huge five percent boost to your uh, my points that's actually pretty freaking awesome so and really just check out all these different quests man i highly highly recommend doing a lot of these different quests because there's a lot of free vc to be made there's a lot of cool rewards that you guys be getting this year in nba 2k and you really should be pretty busy this year there's not a lot of uh dead room this year and if you guys want some ways to get some free VC super, super fast, again, subscribe with your post notifications on because I'll have VC method dropping up probably a little bit after this video. So if you guys are watching this a little bit later in the day today, you probably are, this video is probably already on my channel. So go ahead and check it out. Also, let me know which affiliation you guys are joining down in the comments below. I'm, I'm not sure which one I really want to run with yet. I think I might run with the beast. Let me know which one I should join and which one you guys have actually joined. I think I like the Vipers a lot too. I don't think I want to do the Wildcats at all. I think the Knights might not be too bad either, but I think I'm probably going to run with the Beast. So a quick little update right here. I actually got banned on my main account because I uploaded this video right here where I showed you guys a badge glitch that has gotten patched. I need to update the video title after I post this video, but yeah, uh, so I got banned for it. So if you guys did the method, you guys should be fine. You probably shouldn't get banned, but they took it out on me. So I took the ban for all you guys uh, for showing you guys this method. So apparently I can't do that in the future. So I guess you guys won't see glitch videos. You guys will see method videos from me and showing off locations and all that different stuff from me, showing off builds, all that different stuff. But apparently you cannot upload glitches onto YouTube, which honestly, I don't know. I'm a Madden guy. I, I don't play 2K that much. So yeah, that definitely sucks. And I have to make an entire new account and everything. At least I didn't spend VC. And unless I didn't get the expensive version, that would have been even worse if I spent a bunch of VC and if I got the expensive version, but thankfully I did not. So I just thought I'd give you guys a tiny update on that video and how that's gotten patched and all the different stuff. And I probably won't be able to upload glitch videos on the channel anymore. We do have some events coming up though. So we have Club 2K on the 16th. So we're still a week away from some events. They're just letting us uh, pretty much enjoy the game for now. But Club 2K we do have coming out very, very soon here on September 16th. So a week from today, really. Then we have the Mobile One Grand Prix. So you guys can get some rewards for that. So be prepared for these. Uh, also double rack XP. That's pretty awesome as well. Love to see that September 24th. Um, and yeah, go ahead and play some. Oh, by the way, I need to sell I need to tell you guys this. If you guys have not, or if you guys plan on playing like Wreck or like just really anything, do these before. You have to talk to these different people. And once you guys talk to these different people, they will actually give you guys some quests to do, which is like win a certain amount of games and like all this different stuff. So you have to talk to these people first because you have to talk to Lisa Dunbar, I guess. And then once you guys start playing some rec games and winning some rec games, you guys will get progress towards the rewards right here. And you guys won't get progress unless you talk to these people first. Before you guys play your games, make sure you guys are talking to these people right here. So that way you guys are making progress towards these different rewards. And this is pretty good rewards, man. It's season XP. It's season one uh, medallion right there. Uh, there's a bunch of different stuff, man. So rec arm sleeve and just tons and tons of different stuff, man. T-shirts, banners, all uh, different stuff. Along with VC, MVP points, and XP. So... Highly, highly recommend talking to these people first so that way you guys are making progress towards these different things. And you guys still have 42 days to do this, but I definitely recommend talking to these people first. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel right here for some more NBA 2K23 tips and check out this video up here. YouTube has recommended this video for you so they know that you'll love it. That's why they recommended it for you, so give it a watch.